diddly dongly do, it's Ishing Lu, and it's time for us to make a boat in Spore because I just saw on the horizon another nation taking the spice geysers in the sea. We can't let that stand. So we're going to build a quick little boat here. All right, I'm gonna bring you back once I'm done. Now I know you're probably thinking that my designs are very minimal and boring, and you would be absolutely right. This is the Ish Seeker. I don't know, I'm gonna call it whatever I like. It just, I had no idea what to call it. It just seems cool, it's generic, but eh, the Ish Seeker. Okay, we got a boat. And we also need a plane. So same deal, guys. I'm gonna bring you back when I'm done with the plane. So it's about as generic as it can be, right? Guess what? The name is also gonna be super generic. We're gonna call this the Ish Interceptor because I am boring. So let's get right into it. We have our fleet of ships and boats and we are going to absolutely wreck these guys. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, get out of here, mister. We can't have you. I'm gonna build a ton of thingies. Thank you. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's my spice geyser. Move it or lose it, buddy. Oh, yeah. Sorry, man. Well, would you look at that? I just made the Pink Nation angry and they're proposing a trade route with Arid Hondo. Well, no, because then you're gonna, you know, control my city or something. So how about you get out of here? That is mine. Please kindly move your dirty goods away and I am going to come destroy you. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. That is a trade city, right? I want to take over a religious city so that we can start religiousizing everyone. Are there any buildings that we can build in this town? I do not believe so. By the way, what I said earlier was wrong. These uh, increase happiness based on how many houses they're connected to, but they only produce one unhappiness each. So the connections are cool. You want to increase as many connections as possible. All right. So let's see, Arid Hondo. Can we build any more on Arid Hondo? No, we're going to continue growing our economy. Let's build some cities here. How about we put a Factorosio over here and then we're gonna put some houses all around the factory so that we can increase our income. And then we're gonna have an entertainment building so that we can increase our happiness as well. And for good measure, another entertainment building and another factory. Oh yeah, rich, rich, rich. Thank you, Anton. Anton's making tons of cash. What about Worcestershire? 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 Let's do, a, let's do the same thing. We're gonna build a factory. This is a bit of a smaller town, so we're not gonna be able to make as much. That's okay. Okay by me. Actually, get out of here. Hmm, what can we do? There we go. They'll be fine, they'll be fine. Not our biggest city, but it's fine. How you doing? Oh man, uh, they're not doing so hot. I think uh, the Pink Nation is about to lose their marbles. Well, that's all right. Oof. You guys okay? Let me see your, let me see your little land speeder here. What do you got? Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, well, we're not gonna be seeing any more of you guys because we just took over your city. Nice, no lava fountains, just some mushrooms. Some beautiful mushroom trees. Fabulous. We got our long-ish tower, our tall-ish tower, taking up the sky. You've captured the economic city. We're gonna stay a military city because I don't like economic cities. I don't like playing that way, man. Let's, uh, we got some money. Let's put down a Factorosio. This is a bit of a smaller city as well. So there's not much that we can, wait a second. I know we can put something else down here. Well, money's gonna come in pretty soon. Ah, oh, right there, right there. There's our money. No? Is that it? Well, that's fine. You guys are just gonna be slightly less happy then. That's totally okay with me. Let's move over to this religious city. I wanna check out this religious city and what's going on over here. Meanwhile, we're going to continue. Actually, no, let's take over a religious city next so that we can uh, start to think about uh, 
being religious. Okay, where are our ships? Are they all the way down here already? Oh, they're going around the north. That's fine by me. Look at this beautiful continent. You know, for all of this game's faults, you cannot deny that this game has charm. Oh, sorry. Ouch. Kablamo. Actually, I want to talk to a religious city. I want to see what these guys talk about. The source sings of our alliance and its power. Speak openly, friend. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. I mean, I think you guys understand how this stage works. You go around and you do stuff. And this is a military campaign, so this is pretty, uh, this is pretty straightforward. You blow cities up. Uh, the religious campaign guys, what they do is they create a big, like, holographic projection of an ish figure in the sky, whom I can only assume is the prophet of their religion, and they convert the other city. And if the city's unhappiness is low, then they're able to convert it more quickly. That's defense. So... Look at this guy. He's trying to he's trying to spread the good word. He's trying to spread the good word. Sorry guys. Yeah. So I just want to get right to the space stage because the space stage is when the game really opens up. It's going to be interesting. So let's take over this religious city. Look, they have they have reasonable fountains and some Venus flytraps which we need to get rid of immediately because those are probably used for some kind of demonic ritual that we do not approve of. These heathens have no place in our empire and we have captured this religious city. We are going to keep this specialty. You should target the low cities with low happiness. To... I said earlier we're going to go religious, but I just realized that would mean we have to design all new cars, which I don't feel like doing. So we're just going to stay military so that we can get this Civilization stage over with as quickly as possible. I mean, it's not that bad. I'm just, you know, I'm really eager to get to the space stage. Is there anything else we could do? Okay, no. This city's good. This city is all okay -o. Let's see. Hey! Your civilization perplexes us. What are your intentions? Core flag, McClovney, Clovney. Well, that's my intention right there. So, in case you were wondering... One of your spice derricks is under attack. Where? Oh no, it's the greens. It's the greens. With their... It looks like a frog. It's a frog. And they're using religious attacks to convert the population of my spice derrick into... Oh no. Well, that's okay. What we're gonna do... Well, okay, we got we got these guys. We're good. This is, this is pretty simple. So let's see if we can uh, skip through... Ah, look! Demonic lava fountain! Take them over! Take them over quick! Get rid of those demonic lava fountains. We don't have any place for those for those in our in our lovely empire of loveliness. Okay. Let's just make sure that we are rolling in the dough. I wanna roll in the dough. Oh, wait a second. I have a better idea. Let's switch these. Switch it. Put the factory here. Yes. Then we'll put an entertainment building right here. Oh no, we can't do that because, hmm, <laughs> how about one right here? Oh no, 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 it's gotta go right here, obviously. There we go. Rolling in the happy dough. Rolling in the happy. And then we're gonna put another guy down here, I guess. I, it's not efficient, but that's okay. I just realized we got to take over the greens. So what we're going to do with the greens is we're going to move our guys right here and we are going to use a bit of a gadget bomb. Yes. Because these guys are attacking my spice derricks. That's not okay. Oh, you see that? You see that missile launching from Norati? Well. Sorry, bro. Oh, I... That was really somber. Oh, 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 that's terrible. 
What have I done? Well, yeah, I, you know what? We've just got Shazim. So what we're gonna do with Shazim is we're going to take our fleet back to Ish City because this is the capital and we are, ooh, ooh, let's move our military, move them right here. And we're going to build some planes. All right, some planes. And with the planes, we are going to move our guys over here. Let's let's check out our planes here. Oh yeah, they look real sleek. Look at these Ish Interceptors, the Ish Receptors. That's what I should have called them. Oh, hang on. What did these guys do? My city is under attack. Defend the city by placing tur- Which city is under attack? My city, Warius. Ah, oh, uh-huh, I see. Well, we can fix this problem very easily. We just put some turrets down and we can blow them straight up. Silly religious buildings. Look at that, look at that, look. Man, that's okay. We're gonna blow up your city, so it's cool. Sorry, man, that didn't work very well. Where are our planes? Our planes are right here. Okay. Well, guys, um, here's the problem. You guys, uh, well, let's just use a static bomb just because I want to see what it looks like. You can see it launch from Warius Kabloom. And yeah, let's laser them out of existence. Uh, wait. Planes, please. Laser them out of existence. Oh, that's beautiful. That's so cool. I love the lasers. Wait, did I not realize? Oh, there's a whole other religious city right here. Oh man. Well, we gotta take care of that real quick. Come on. Let's take care of them. We're gonna we're gonna wrap this stage up so that we can get to the space stage. I know that I said I was gonna try to do a little bit of everything in this playthrough. That was like the first or second episode. But I'm kind of leaning into the fact that the Ish are not very nice. You know, in that way, they're kind of a reflection of me as a person. Incredibly nice. Uh, not very nice. Incredibly... Not... Whoa! I, don't, I feel sorry for you guys now. That's awesome. Look, they've got these little organ pipes on the backs of their walkers. Wow. Have you heard the good news? The good news is that you have an interesting city hall, and you have entertainment buildings blowing confetti, Nice concert halls. Well, um, this is terrorism. I am so sorry. I'm a terrible person. Let's skip. I, I don't want to. I don't want to think about what I'm doing. If we talk to this guy, you have defiled our beliefs and mocked our people. What do you want? Well, our people admire your wide tracts of lands, and I show great wisdom because I'm very wise. ICBM destroys all cities. Here we go. We can see the writing on the wall! I think it's time to fight no more forever! We happily accept your surrender. Global domination is yours! Fabulous! Rolling Thunder! Complete the civilization stage in less than an hour. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you play on easy. Do you guys remember that I'm playing this game on easy? That's why I'm doing so well. Okay. Well... I guess we can move right on then, guys. So, let's do that. Let's get right to the space stage. Right now. Okay. Yes, I know. Your choices have culminated in your race's identity, and we... We've been, we've been pretty, we've been pretty bad to the other, the other nations of the world. Look, we, we started off so... You know, reasonable. We weren't insane one way or the other, and then we just kind of leaned into being bad guys, and now we're scientists. Okay, fine, that's awesome. I like being a scientist. What's my special ability in the space stage? Gravitation wave. Levels cultures and buildings back to the Stone Age. Yeah, that kind of sounds like something I'm interested in doing. So let's go. Bum ba da. First off, 
that spaceship factory does not fit with my architectural style. And second off, did you see that they were using wooden hammers? They're going to use wooden hammers to build my spaceship. And my spaceship... Okay, I've got an idea. I've got an idea, and I'm going to show you what that idea is after I have finished it. So I will see you guys very soon. Okay, guys, here we go. This is a lovely, lovely kind of cargo ship that's got... It's big and bulky. It's got a couple of wings for atmospheric flight, and I think it looks quite comfortable. So the Ish Captains fly in comfort, and this is going to be the Ish Starliner. Yeah, it's going to be a civilian passenger ship. Thousands of people will be living on this ship as we traverse the cosmos in the Ish Starliner. Let's get right into the space stage, guys. Oh, it's glorious! Liftoff, you've successfully developed a ship capable of spaceflight. The heavens beckon. The cosmos awaits. The universe is at your fingertips. If you can learn to fly this thing. And fly this thing we will. Welcome to space, indeed. Guys, we're going to continue with the space stage in the next episode, and we're going to be diving into some of the Galactic Adventures content as well. So, diddly dongly do this was Ishing Lu. If you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I just realized I can't save my game until I'm done with this tutorial, so let's go through that real quick, huh? Congratulations, cadet. You've got a fine ride there. If you're still adding equipment to your new ship, but we should have it ready for space travel in no time. Have you flown a spaceship before? No. Well, guess what? I know how to command my ship. Been there, done that. Let's... No, I know what I'm doing. Let's... Let's do... Let's... I, I want to save the game. I want to save the game. So... This person is saying that they're picking up strange radio signals from the planet Hamurisko in orbit around our home star, and we're going to investigate. We're going to do that. So, well, oh, fabulous. We got a, we got a captain badge. Okay, we've earned the badge and title of captain, and we are going to be, oh, I got a collection of badges, and I can go check these out later. We'll do that later, guys. Let's, let's finish this up. Yeah, we got some tools. This is the stuff that we can put on our spaceship and use it. We're going to be doing all of that later. So let's exit the planet. And we are in our solar system. And it is gorgeous. And this is where the game really begins. So let's save the game. Haha. -ha. Finally. And the game on Planet Lou is saved. And I'm not going to do the diddly dongly doo spiel again because you guys have already heard that. And I will just say to you again, bye bye.